Hey everyone, Jack here bringing you another Fulmore tutorial voted by you. So if you guys don't know what Twixter is, it's basically used to make your slow motion clips look much smoother. Also, if you'd like to support me, consider using code YOJACK and like this video as it helps a lot. So to start off, the number one tip I would give is to start recording your clips at 120 FPS. Just a quick explanation, if you lower your clip duration by dividing it in half, the frame also gets divided. So if you're editing a clip that's 60 FPS, it's going to be into 30 FPS, which doesn't look as good. So if you don't know how to get 120 FPS clips, I'll show you right now. So I'll begin by heading to the link in the description. It's going to be the first one. And you just want to click the download and install button. And then wait for the file to install. After it installs, you just want to double click it. It should pop up a menu and just click yes on it, click next, and then next again, and then you could save this to whatever folder you want. I will just click install and uh, wait for it. After that, you just want to click finish. Now, uh, just click I will not be streaming, it's the second option, the middle one. And just click next, go to the plus sign, and click the display capture. This will uh, start recording your display once you tell it to. After that, you just want to click on the settings output section. It's the third one and go to the video bitrate. Make that 40,000. Uh, make sure the encoder is on hardware and the uh, audio bitrate 320. Just click advanced encoder settings and change it to low latency quality. After that, go to the recording format and change it to mp4. Click enable replay buffer and that's how long the clip will be. So for me, I want the clips to be 30 seconds long. Alright, after that, you want to go on the video section and change the common FPS value to integer FPS value and make it 120. So next, you just want to click on the hotkey section and basically you could set uh, any keybind to start uh, clipping so just go down to the replay buffer and save replay and click a button that you want to press to uh, save it with that's the keybind where you tell it to start recording the footage all right so for tip number two i suggest to start editing your clip in 30 fps or 24 that's because when you time remap your clip it it's gonna get divided like I said. So if you're editing in 60 FPS, it's gonna get 30. So if the project file is showing 60 FPS, the clip is gonna be 30, which is gonna make it look choppy. Alrighty boys, so to get started, I'm gonna show you the two Twixter effects that you could apply. And keep in mind, I already timed to map this just so I don't waste your time. I'll leave the clip in the description if you wanna follow along with me. Alright, so the clip one is my time remap clip and the glow away is the original one. I'm gonna find the part where I start time remapping it and it's like right about over here, add a cut. And also you wanna go to the effects and then just scroll down all the way to the utility right over here, shape mask and then disable this first track. And then you wanna increase the feather all the way up and just mask around the skin. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And same thing with, with the height. Alright, so now that we masked our clip, I'm gonna just add another copy of the original footage just in case we need it and paste that in. And you also want to be random when doing the effect because it's gonna look much better if you do it randomly. So for example, I'm gonna have like some, you know, like a cut over here maybe. Like right about on the shot and then just drag this down so it looks like this. And you want to go to the transition and select the morph. Just have it on this lower layer. What it's going to do is basically like add this twixter effect on the background, not the main skin. And then right over here, it's going to also add it to the main skin as well. And then on top, you just want to add another one. So it looks like this, it finishes off. And just increase it a little bit and add another one right over here. Just make that one like a tiny bit smaller, I'd say. Now, if you want, you could also add one over here. It's up to you. 
all right so that's the first effect the second effect it's called water ripple and actually uh ruben found this out i'll leave his uh, links in the description below it doesn't matter for the settings you could lower this down i suggest you lower it like this but i'm gonna keep it the same and yeah that's basically the whole effect now i'm gonna just add a quick shake and we will be done with this video all right so that's it guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you learned something new make sure to comment down below show me your results on discord and remember to always have a wonderful day and keep smiling